everybody and welcome to Simulate Gaming and welcome back to Tourist Bus Simulator here on the channel. As promised, I am going to be doing a series on this. Sorry it took a while to get into episode number two. It's just been Christmas on that malarkey. So um, I'm going to head and skip some boring stuff. We Basically now we have a driver called Tala working for us. Uh, basically the game showed us how to put them out on jobs and stuff. She also crashed the coach. So if I go to here, uh, it's currently disabled. You can see the orange just poking through there. In fact, it might actually let us... I'm going to skip this off. Uh, it might actually let us do it off here. Uh, no, it won't let us. Basically, she crashed the coach. And now we've got like 62% of health left on the coach. So we need to get that looked at at some point. Uh, but uh, we're about to take a permanent order. So this one is a job that goes on forever, basically. It's not just a one-timer. So that icon there indicates that this is uh, one that goes on for an infinity amount of time. Uh, so this is line 102. Uh, Castillo. Cattle I don't even want to pronounce that. There we go. So we're going to head and order that. So now we've got completed tasks. And we've got no failed tasks. We've got two completed tasks. Uh, one of these was done by our hard worker. One of them was done by us, of course. So let's go ahead and exit out of here real quick. Uh, the permanent order. Reopen the schedule to assign yourself as a driver. There we go. Schedule. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click on this little icon here. Simi. Uh, you have to drive each route once. Okay. So Oh, there we go. 64.1% is the current health for the coach. She crashed it. Um, which isn't good. It could be a he. Tala. Tyler could be a book boy. I don't really know. Um, so there we go. Simmy's going to be taking that out. Sim worth Simmy, in case you haven't worked that out already. Open the calendar. Skip time to your next appointment. Let's go ahead and do that, which is the 11th, which is Monday morning. Let's go ahead and skip there. Cool. So today is the day. Follow the route shown in the navigation. So let's head out to our coach. Um, I did originally put this away, but um, I had a bug. So this is the second time I've done... I haven't got this far, but up until now, with the Tala crash and the coach and stuff, it was a bit bugged out. So now we're back on track. So we did skip some of that. It was a bit boring anyway, to be fair. So let's jump into the coach. Let's actually make sure everything's good to go. Tire pressure and all that a lot. Um, there's no visual damage. She did crash the coach, though, but there's no visual damage, which is kind of good. Um, right. Let's get up onto the coach here. Everything's looking good. Let's jump into the cab. I need to quickly turn the... Well, move the wheel cam, and then we'll be good to go. Okay, so we're on the coach now. Let's go ahead and get the ignition turned on first of all. I have also adjusted the head tracking a little bit, so it's not as uh, sickening for you guys. So when I'm going in a straight line, it barely moves. So I'm actually moving my head right now, but you can't really tell that much. I've done it up and down, um, but we can still look around when we turn, which I think is pretty cool. Right, so let's make sure we are in neutral, which we are. Um, let's go ahead and close the door first of all, like so. So hold our foot on the brake. Let's get the coach turned on and she purrs to life there once again this game is pretty quiet so I'm not sure if you guys actually can hear anything here and uh, right let's see if I can remember any of the controls so there's our lights put our side lights on and um, we need the passion display in fact what I want to do real quick is tab out right okay so I just bought my little picture up from the last video if you guys remember me saying uh, about that so we've got our lights there we've got our hazard lights is on this one uh, air con we could probably turn on now like so uh, we can make it cooler as well. Let's make it 20. 21 seats. Actually, we're in a hot country. We'll make it... We'll make it 18. Uh, we'll go, well, 18's the minimum. We'll leave it on that for now. Um, everything else should be off. We've got toilets. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so the one thing we need is the destination light, which is this button here. There we go. Press and hold the foot brake. Let's get it into reverse here. Handbrake off. Have we turned full beams on? No, we've not. What's that blue light on the dashboard? <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, the blue lights just turn us the aircons on. That's fine. Right. So we should be ready to go now. Let's go ahead and reverse this out. We're probably going to have to do a, uh, a three-point turn for this. Right, let's check the mirrors. We also have a reverse camera. We're about to hit some big metal pylon things. Let's go ahead and stop. Put it into forwards. Let's go ahead and turn this around in a minute. Right, okay, so we are now good to go. Sorry about that, took a little while to get out of the yard. Just familiarising myself with the controls again. Once again, last time I played this game was when I actually recorded the last video. If you missed episode number one, you can go back and watch that if you want. If I remember, I'll put a card in the video. Right, so we are now away. Just double check and make sure the doors and everything are closed. Yes, they are. Um, I don't have door locks set up. I feel like that's not very necessary, although I might do it at some point. It's in the K out of here. 
stop sign here as well. So yeah, basically when I'm driving straight, I'll show you that in a second. And nothing's coming that way, nothing's coming that way. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and swing this around. So apparently this is all based on the real map as well. I didn't realize that. Thank you for everyone telling me in the comment section down below. So apparently you can actually go on to Google Maps and see like the village and stuff in real life, which is pretty cool. So I did not realize that. So that's really cool. Nice little fact that you guys taught me there. Uh, the, the, there has been some changes from what I saw. That roundabout's not there, for example. That's just a normal road on Google Maps from what I saw. We need to give way. Well, there's no stop sign here, but there is a give way sign. Just make sure... We're good. So yeah, if I'm just driving straight like this, there should be too much head tracking uh, motion going on so you guys don't feel too queasy watching this. Um, let's head around this way. We'll speed up at 60 kilometers. We're only going 45, so we're good. So yeah, welcome back. I hope you guys are well. Sorry it took a while. Well, so, not a while, but it took so long to get episode number two out. Um, apologize about that. Um, this could also be one of the last videos. In fact, I plan on recording two today, so there's going to be two more videos like this. With any luck, there's going to be some big changes happening to the wheel cam. I'm not going to give too much away just yet, but yeah, there could be some massive changes. It also may look a little bit better on the wheel cam. We have a 4K camera now, webcam, and also one of my Christmas presents, which was a box light. One of those big, bright box light things that photographers and film people use, just so when it's recording late at night, like now it's half five, uh, and if you're watching that, this in the summer, you're really confused, but it's pitch black outside, it's winter. Um, so I got a box light just to give it a bit more brightness, basically. I've actually got two, but the other one's for face cam, and of course there's no face cam on my videos. Right, we're going to head around this roundabout here. I haven't been this far out before, this is interesting. Right, you are going to pull out in front of me, aren't you? Yes, you are. Good job, I was going slow. So yeah, I'm really baffled that, not baffled, sorry, blown away that, um, hardware store. Oh gosh, what's really good sim. So once again, you are getting some frame drops because this is the first time I've been to this side of the island, so it's going to be loading in all the shaders for the first time. But yeah, I was about to say, I've not been this side before. What's the speed limit on here? It's 90, and we're already going 60. We can floor it a little bit, I think. Okay, so we have now just entered uh, that place. Caleta the Fuse? I have no idea. I do not speak language. I, I barely know English, let alone other languages. Um, right, we need to go all the way around. We've just passed the bus stop, but we need to go approach it from the other way. Bicycle rental. Can we actually run to bikes? Or was that just a drop off point? If we can rent bikes, that'd be, I would say, awesome, but I'll probably never use them, so cancel that statement. Uh, a lot electronic store. I'm really curious to see what all this stuff is. Really curious to see what all this stuff is. Uh, hotel. That's obviously we're picking up customers or passengers even, not customers. Right, let's turn down here. One thing I hate is hitting the curbs. So you will see we sometimes go wider or whatever to avoid that. There's a stop sign here. And uh, we're down now. So here's our first stop. We did put the sign on, didn't we? Yes, we did. Okay. Let's turn it into here. They have no baggage, so we don't need to worry about opening the baggage doors. Right. Neutral. Stop. Um, why are we going to lower the bus? There we go. So that is on the wheel as well. And we'll get a door open. So unlike Firm Bus, if you missed episode number one, we do not have to get off or do anything on this. They're just customers. I would like to see some sort of checklist or something. Not necessarily a tablet, but even just this clipboard with pen and paper or whatever. I would like to see that implemented at some point. Because these could be random as just scabbing a free lift off us. And there is actually a suitcase over there as well. Um, maybe if you're going to the airport, there's a suitcase you have to deal with. But I don't know just yet. So let's go ahead and get that closed up. I believe that was the last passenger. Um, let's get the handbrake off. Put her into gear. Um, pull off.
Right, okay, so we are now approaching our next town. This is An... Tigua? An two? I'm just gonna give up on names. I'm terrible. Like I said, I barely know how to speak English. Um, we found a furniture store, which is awesome. That's quite a long drive. That's probably gonna be time lapse. Now, if you guys are playing this yourself and you get a bit bored, you can of course turn on the radio um, in the coach. I'm still not 100% sure if it's copyright free music or not. So I'm gonna do some production wizardry to make it sound like there's actually music on the coach, but in actual fact, I'm putting it in after. Right, let's lower the coach once again. Um, let's go ahead and get the door open. Hello, welcome, welcome. Hello. Yeah, welcome aboard. So we get a better angle there. There we go. So how many people are on the coach, actually? Getting quite busy. Getting quite busy. Um, right, let's get that door closed. We'll get the coach lifted up here. It never actually fully goes up, which is weird. You have to, like, double press it a few times. Right. Uh, let's get into the drive. Neutral. Indicate out. Awesome. There's going to be a bit of a tight corner this one by the look of it, so hopefully we don't crash. We'll start indicating now. So I should have probably checked the route properly. I'm not sure how many stops we have until we finish, but this is an infinite one, so we get to keep this job from now on. I'm not sure why this isn't under contracts. Surely if it's an infinite one, it should be a contract. Right, there we go. Turn around here. Awesome. That actually wasn't as bad as I thought it'd be. Right, so once again... What's this Audi doing? Right, I'm not sure how long we've got, but... I feel like I'm just going to not sit here talk, rambling for 45 minutes. So every time we leave towns and stuff, I'm going to time lapse it so you guys can enjoy the views. So sit back, enjoy. Uh, I'll see you guys when we get to near our next drop off or pickup. Okay, so we're now approaching our third bus stop, or coach stop, whatever you want to call it. What's this place called? I'm not even going to try. I'm just going to let you guys see the sign. Castillas del Angel. An Angel? That one was pretty easy. Right, indicating to you, make sure no cars coming, because we're probably going to take up the majority of the road doing this. Like so. I love how much detail they put into the uh, towns on this game. And I will be going back to Fernbus as well. That was another comment I had in my previous video. To go back to Fernbus. I will be doing Fernbus as well, don't worry. Um, that was a stop sign and you just ran it. Idiota. Alright, let's turn into here. This must be a drop off because there's nobody here. Must be a drop off. Alright, let's go ahead and stop. Neutral parking brake. And then we'll open the door. In fact, if nobody is getting on, then we need to open the other door as well. Let's go ahead and do that. Are people getting off? Yeah, they are. I'm not sure if everybody's getting off, but some people are. Okay, so I think this was the end of the line. And looking on the other side of the road, um, we've got to take people back. So we basically do the route and then we go all the way back. So the towns we just visited, I think we have to do again. Um, but in the opposite direction. Let's make sure wait for everyone to get off, though. As they... Pretty much dead-like. They look like zombies getting off. Right, is that everybody? Just going to double check. Um, yeah, it looks like the coach is empty here. Cool. Right, let's get both doors closed. We'll lift up the coach again. Uh, like so. Right, foot brake, parking brake, gear, indicate. And we'll head off. So yeah, I think, as judging by the map here, we've got to do a loop-de-loop -loop and then come back. Um, so I'm actually going to go left here. I think that's the proper way to go. Why won't it let me indicate? There we go. 
Right, so you guys have just seen all this, so what I'm going to do is skip this part, and uh, we'll see what the outcome is, shall we? Right, okay, really sweet, and now approaching where we, pretty much where we started off. Um, now, before we get uh, continue, I want to actually say thank you to, I forgot your name, I do apologise, it's been a long time since episode number one, that reminded me that this is Taurus Bus Simulator, not Coach Simulator, so I, I, in the first episode, I was actually forgetting to open my rear door when I uh, stopped at the stops, so big thank you to you. So now I have been actually letting people off <laughs> at the same time. I thought everyone got on and then you got off at the end, um, but... No, that's not the case. So it turns out you do have to actually have to open the rear and front door when you stop. So uh, I've mapped that one out to this button here. So basically when I stop now, I just press both of the buttons together. It opens both the doors. It's easier that way. Um, anyways, we need to go around here. Indicate in. To... Yeah, you go. And I'll go after you. Perfect. That's Rainbow Dave's house. Alright, indicate into here. Cool. So that actually might be the last stop. Okay, it is the last stop. But basically, what I do now is just do that. It's so much easier. Um, and then everyone gets off. Look at that. Perfect. But they keep getting stuck on the curb. I'm not really sure why. Um, let's get a screenshot. Boop. All stops have been approached. No pasture has been left. No pasture has been left at a stop. Good. Service rating 17%? What? 17%? Are you having a laugh? What did I do wrong? Maybe I was driving a bit fast. <laughs> I don't know. Return to the company. Right. Um, let's get you into forward. 17%? Are you mad? I am. Right. Let's get back to the uh, the coach company, shall we? Seventeen percent. We can walk next time. Oh come on, don't do this to me. You saw me come out ages ago. Have I got one of them mirrors? No, I do not. Coaches, you missed out on the Euro Truck mirror. Oh, there's a car behind me as well. Fantastic. Right, wait there, Persil. Thank you. Jeez. Fun fact, that van is a Dodge in America. It's all on YouTube. Anyway, onwards. Right, so after being forced to go the long way around, we are now approaching our coach... I'm really calling it a coach station. You can wait there. Wait, I'm coming through. I've had enough of the uh, civvies around here. Park and exit your vehicle. Do we park it away in the garage or not? Yeah, we will. If it was a real business, we would, wouldn't we? So let's go ahead and park this thing. There's float, literally floating rocks in front of us. Alright. Let's go ahead and trying to... Oh, that's some damage done. Trying to maneuver ourselves around on this... Uh... Let's actually get a look where we are a minute. We are nowhere near. Okay, right. Let's go ahead and pull forward. Right. Now there is actually a map in here that doesn't really appear in the rear view camera. There it is. It's kind of hard to see. Right there. So we'll stop. Get it into neutral. Parking brake on. Why do we keep lowering ourselves? I don't understand. Right, let's get the aircon off. Destination light off. Reading that was never on, so it doesn't matter. Uh, what else do we have? We had the passenger lights. Turn them off. We had our normal lights, let's get those turned off. Uh, that one. There we go, and finally... Let's pull the power, what is that one there? Right, so let's go ahead and jump off the coach here. We have to go into the office, we will... Oh, the coach actually gets dirty, that's pretty cool. We'll have to take it for a car wash at some point, I assume. Right, that's uh, definitely closed right now. I did see something earlier, but I wanted to get this on camera. Here we go. So if you guys don't know, there's actually a thousand euros waiting at the uh, the back of the workshop here. I think that's the only one. Oh, there's another one here. 2,500 euros waiting there. Oh, maybe I should go exploring. See if we can find any more real quick. Uh, let's see if there's any up here. There's another thousand on the couch. 
And that was it. So let's go ahead and exit the workshop here. We'll go through the back door of the office. Which is this door. Is there any money out here? I'm going to be looking everywhere for this money now. Money comes in handy. Right. Let's go ahead and uh, open the schedule again to assign a permanent order to your employee. Open the schedule again, which is up here. They should have actually put a schedule up here instead of a picture of Einstein. Uh, right. Let's go to here. We need to fix that coach really bad. Um... You can have that coach for now. Except. That's the infinite one, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so now Tala is taking that coach around infinitely, basically. So he's just going back and forward. Or she's going that whole route back and forward, basically, for the whole shift, which is pretty cool. Go to the other computer. Right, so before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and end this here. Thank you very much for joining me. This has been episode number two. There will be an episode number three. Once again, thank you very much for joining me. If you did enjoy, please slap the thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot. Hit subscribe to see more from myself. I've been Simulate Gaming, and I'll see you in the next one.